topic. It's not important from men's point of view. One or two questions in prelims. Now what sources I'm using it? I can tell you the sources also. Uh, one of the common sources I have used, uh, that is called you know, the NCIT book and Day to Day Economics of Satish Devathan. He said all these things in that book also. So that helps obviously as a, as a student, as a teacher, it helps me to get a list of those basic terms which I must say if I'm talking to someone who's not knowing economics and want to learn it at that graduate level. So I should introduce those basic terms to them, right? So I'll tell you what are goods, various types of goods, what are like services. If I ask you define services, I have seen people get people struggle with different de you know, what's called definition of services. You use the term services. I am offering you services. You know that. What are services? You know, once you know the term properly, you can use it as per your will. If you don't know the term, you have to mug it up every time. आपको फिर रटना पड़ेगा वो चीज़ और वो खतरनाक है क्योंकि रटना तो पूछना नहीं इनको सीधे यहाँ पे so that's why basic terms and terminologies, uh, maybe initial one, two, three classes will go for it, but that will give you complete canvas that what is capital, what is capital formation, why it is important, why all these data are given in the economic survey, what is significance into it, and so and so. Second topic is national income, national income and its aggregates, national income and its aggregates. Here we talk about what is GDP, GVA. No, national income and its aggregates. National income and its aggregates. Very good for prelims and mains both. Like this year there was a question asked. What was the change of GDP calculation in 2015? 